So Clark, I'd like to hand it off to you. Thank you so much, Chelsea. I really appreciate this opportunity. Uh, as, as you guys, uh, you students should know by now, I'm definitely a, a proud Bronco. Uh, Cal Poly is my alma mater. We've got some other, uh, some other proud Broncos on this call with us today, and we're going to do some uh, whatever we can to try to enlighten you and let you folks know a little bit about the Boeing Company and what we do with the Boeing Company. You know, we watched um, some of the some of the videos that were done back in the spring uh, by other companies, and uh, we tried to get a feel for you know what kind of things uh, you guys might want to see with respect to you know learning about our company. And one of the things that came through very clear was that we wanted to make sure that we had representatives from various different parts of the company to participate in this call, in this video call with you. So, so I've invited a panel of uh, distinguished guests. Uh, each of us are going to do a rotation and introduce ourselves and talk a little bit about uh, what we do. And then we'll talk to you a little bit about uh, the, the, the parts of the company that we are familiar with. And then uh, as we get into it, uh, we'll uh, try and leave some opportunities for you to have questions and, uh, and we get those questions answered. So uh, I'm gonna start, like I said, uh, talking a little bit about the company. Uh, Boeing is, uh, is an aerospace company. Uh, we are uh, one of the largest aerospace companies out there because of the fact that we have a, both the commercial side as well as the defense and space side. And what we wanna share with you today is, hey, your, you, your future is really built here at the company. I do have some optional videos that I'm gonna be sharing with you today. Uh, and I will tell you a couple of things about them as we get into the presentation. Uh, there's a number of embedded videos in this package and we'll, we'll get into those in a little bit. Um, what I'd like to do is share with you the first video now, which is part of our, uh, our package. So uh, hopefully you'll be able to see and hear. I think I shared sound. Chelsea, Mac, you guys let me know if you can't hear it. I'm gonna start the video now. Like the video says, we are here building our future together. Let me stop that. So, hope you guys are gonna, uh, I hope that gave you a little bit of a picture of what, uh, what you're gonna get in this presentation and discussion today. Without further ado, what I'd like to do is introduce our panel, uh, the presenters, the folks that are gonna be talking to you today. I will start with uh, Rudy, and then Rudy, you could just kind of go down the row and uh, you can introduce, let everyone else introduce themselves. So, Rudy Durant. All right, thanks, Clark. And just a quick sound check, can you hear me okay? All good, Rudy. Perfect, all right. Well, Clark, thank you for uh, pulling us together. And uh, thank you to the Cal Poly Pomona leadership and all you uh, students out there, go Broncos. I am also a very proud alum. Graduated uh, in 1984 from the College of Engineering uh, with an aerospace engineering degree. Uh, and so I'm a Southern California native, born and raised in Southern California, I'm very proud of that. Uh, and uh, I don't wanna go anywhere else. This is where I wanna hang out. It's a cool place to be. And all my uh, family and all my, my roots are here. So very excited to have the opportunity to learn and understand and uh, grow. Uh, and it all starts with a great education and foundation through Cal Poly Pomona. But uh, went to work for Lockheed for a couple of years uh, out of Burbank uh, and that facility no longer exists there. It's somewhere out in the desert and across the nation. And then I joined McDonnell Douglas after that. 
and started working in their test organization. And it's just been a crazy ride since then, and now part of Boeing. Uh, and I have the pleasure and the honor and the privilege to lead our customer support organization in Boeing Commercial Aircraft. And uh, we take care of uh, nearly 14,000 airplanes that fly every day, uh, Boeing airplanes, uh, every, every day of the week, every, <laughs> every week of the year, 24 seven operation. And it is truly an honor and a privilege to work with our customers and understand their needs and what's going on and bring the best of Boeing to them. So that's uh, me in a, in a quick minute. Veronica, over to you. Thank you. My name is Veronica Serrano Cusero. I graduated uh, in 2001 from Cal Poly Pomona. Uh, I majored in finance, real estate, and law with a concentration in contract management. Uh, I was part of the Society of Law and Contracts uh, while attending Cal Poly and was even the president my, my last year there. Um, I feel very fortunate to have been able to join Boeing straight out of Cal Poly. Uh, I've been with Cal Poly for 20 years. Doesn't seem that long, um, but time sure does fly when you're having fun. Uh, all my 20 years have been on the Boeing defense space and security uh, side of, of Boeing, all in uh, the supply chain procurement organization. Um, as a college hire, um, I had the opportunity to take part in several career development programs. Um, I've worked in various buying teams uh, that have allowed me to expand uh, my contracting and commodity buying experience. You know, I've bought uh, commodities from hardware to electronics to electronic assemblies, uh, raw material, which include your like titanium, aluminum, and composites. Uh, and I've also uh, bought more complex items such as um, propulsion systems and rocket engine thrusters. Uh, I'm currently working in the Autonomous Systems Group, supporting a development project uh, where I work directly with program engineering on a daily basis uh, to work through the challenges that surface uh, when designing and building a new product for the first time. Thanks, Veronica. And I, I think uh, one of the things you said uh, during your discussion was that you've been with Cal Poly for 20 years. I think you meant you were with oh, Boeing for 20 years, no, right? I didn't, yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I did enjoy my time there, but uh, no, I've been with uh, Boeing Defense Space and Security for 20 years. Thanks, Clark. For there catching you go. Up. Not a problem. Not a problem. Tracy. Absolutely. I feel a little bit like the odd duck out now that I've heard Rudy and Veronica uh, share their stories. You clearly see that I am not from Southern California and I did not graduate from Cal Poly. So I guess I'm bringing a little Midwest diversity to the plate today for the organization. Shows that you can go anywhere within this company. So I am the HR director for the uh, organization that Veronica just mentioned, Autonomous Systems, as well as the organization that Clark shared that he is also a part of, Phantom Works. So I have the pleasure of being the HR leader for um, a little over 5,000 employees which is a really, really fun part of my job. Um, you can also see that my degree is probably not what you'd expect. I actually graduated with my undergraduate degree in elementary education. And I think that what I would share there for all of the students here is what led me to this position was just saying yes to scary opportunities. And I've done that my entire career been with Boeing about eight years now and have loved every moment of it. Really excited to share my passion for the company with this uh, team today. Clark, over Thanks to you. So. Thanks so much, Tracy. Yeah, it's, been, it's a pleasure uh, having Tracy on our team as our HR director. She, she keeps us all focused on the right stuff. Um, and then for the folks of you that have not met me, my name is Clark Rucker, Director of Phantom Works Quality. Um, I have been on campus working with you students for like years. So you guys, I, I'd be surprised if some of you don't know me, but if you don't, well, it's good to uh, get to meet you today. I'm hoping that uh, you'll get a lot out of this presentation. Uh, Rudy, Veronica, Tracy, and I, we have a lot of information to share, and I don't want to spend a whole lot of time talking about myself. I would rather spend more time talking about our company. So if you guys want to get to know me a little bit better, hey, we can do that offline another time. Let's, let's move on and talk a little bit about, about Boeing. Uh, so, so what we're going to do, like I said, is uh, each of us is going to take some turns talking through the slides. And uh, the first uh, slide basically that we want to hit 
is what our global reach is across our company. I'm not sure if someone's got an open mic there. If you just mute your mic, I'd appreciate it because I'm getting a lot of feedback. Okay, so um, global reach, $58.2 billion in 2020 uh, revenues. Uh, our company makes a significant investment everywhere we can to try and, in, in, and uh, help out our global partners. We've got products and services that support our customers in more than 150 co uh, countries out there. Uh, Boeing is a very, very large company and a very involved and invested company. We've got contracts with more than 12,000 suppliers around the world. And we've got 14, uh, I'm sorry, 140,000 employees in more than 65 countries. That tells you how big we are. Just We have the, a global reach that touches uh, a lot of people in a lot of different places. What I'm going to do now is turn it over uh, to, to what we do uh, today and tell you a little bit about some of the things as a company, what the, the areas that we, we work in and the businesses that we support. So we all uh, have, and you should have uh, insight and knowledge about the fact that Boeing has a commercial airplanes business. Uh, if, you, if you ever travel somewhere, if you ever have to fly from one side of the country to the other, chances are good that you've taken one of our flights, one of our Boeing planes at some point in time. We've got the seven series family of airplanes and that leads the industry. Uh, on our defense and space side of the house, uh, we've got one of the la world's largest defense contractors. Uh, we are one of the la world's largest defense contractors and a major service provider to NASA. And then on the global services side, uh, as you can see, there's, there's a number, oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Let me go back. Uh, there's a number of, uh, of focused businesses that we support that our global services business basically supports all of our programs worldwide uh, across the company. What I'm going to do now is switch it up a little bit and let each of our panel members talk a little bit about what uh, each of the business segments. So, Rudy. All right. Thanks, Clark. Uh, appreciate it. And uh, uh, like Clark mentioned, uh, I get the privilege of representing our Boeing commercial airplane organization. And Clark shared with you you know, the close to $60 billion in revenue, uh, nearly a third of that uh, comes from Boeing commercial airplanes. And uh, we, by sales, uh, we sell most of our airplanes, believe it or not, to customers outside of the U.S. Uh, so that hits on another key point that Clark mentioned around our global reach. Uh, and the markets in different regions are exploding. Southeast Asia, China, Russia, um, Africa, those are growing markets like crazy and those are uh, areas that we have to remain present and we have to ensure that we are supplying and supporting the very best of Boeing. Our headquarters for commercial airplanes is certainly located in the Puget Sound. That's where most of our uh, operations are at. Most of our factories are there, although we are shifting our 787 production facility to be predominantly in Charleston and South Carolina. But the Puget Sound is, uh, although being in the headquarters, uh, the Boeing commercial airplane reach is global. My organization alone within BCA, uh, we have field service representatives that are all over the world. And uh, they are part of our organization there. We have about five, close to 500 uh, engineers, technicians, analysts that are located in different countries, in different bases that support our customers around the clock. So our reach is truly global. And our portfolio of airplanes that we offer is uh, very significant from uh, the 3.7 models that are flying today and uh, probably the biggest common model fleet that we have all the way up to um, 4.7s and everything in between and growing uh, ever more. So uh, we offer quite a diverse series of not only passenger, but cargo and freight carrying uh, capacity all over the world. Uh, like I mentioned, we're more than 10,000. We're probably closer to around 13, 14,000 airplanes. Uh, we still support those airplanes that are no longer being produced, but are still flying. And so that is a great opportunity for us to ensure that those airplanes continue to fly safely, effectively, and efficiently. And uh, we are nearly 34,000 employees strong within the Boeing commercial airplane organization and growing. And that's very, very key uh, because we all know what the pandemic uh, did for us in 2020 and now the industry 
of what's happening from commercial airplanes is starting to come back. It starts domestically, it's growing regionally, and then in a couple of years, we're gonna to start to see the rebound internationally. So we are bringing on more people and we're excited to bring on uh, folks like yourselves and uh, train them and let them learn about what it means to uh, support this awesome, awesome fleet worldwide. So I'm very proud to be part of BCA. I've held other roles in the past as well. I've been in BDS. I've been in our global services organization, BDS being defense services, and uh, just really, really enjoy my time here at Boeing. So with that, I'll pass it over to the next slide and the next speaker. All right, Veronica. So I'll be covering the defense, space, and security. And as Rudy mentioned, we refer to it as BDS for short. Uh, so the headquarters is located now in Arlington, Virginia. That's a recent move for BDS. It used to be in St. Louis, but now it's closer to uh, the DC area. So in uh, 2020, uh, we had 26.3 billion in revenue, which usually BDS trails behind the commercial side of the business BDS, but I'm sorry, BCA. Um, but last year, our revenues uh, exceeded the commercial side. Uh, BDS was actually formed in 2002 to integrate the Boeing, uh, Boeing's defense, space, intelligent, and communications capabilities. Uh, its core markets uh, include the weapons, uh, fixed wing strike, and integrative missiles. Uh, currently, the focus markets include military rotorcraft, which are uh, the Apache program, the Chinook, uh, the B-22 helicopters type programs, uh, commercial derivatives that include the P-8 and the KC-46, um, KC and both those uh, products share commonality with the BCA uh, commercial side. Uh, it includes the human space exploration. Many of you are familiar with the uh, Starliner, the commercial crew program. It also includes satellites, services, and autonomous systems, of course. Uh, our organization uh, currently employs about 15,000 Boeing employees. Yeah. Next slide. Thanks, Veronica. Grace? All right, excited to talk with you all about Boeing Global Services today because as you can probably see, this is one of our, this is our newest business within the organization and it was just formed in 2017. We actually took the BCA services and the BDS services and combine them into this new organization, BGS. This has been extremely fun because we got to stand up an entirely new business uh, headquartered in Plano, Texas, and be able to really give it its own identity because as you can probably expect in the services world, it is very fast paced. It's a quick moving market, which is a little bit different than when you have to assemble a 737 or an Apache. And being able to provide those services in a really quick and comprehensive way was the big reason that this organization was stood up. So this is a great place to be for those people who want to be able to um, move fast, do things a little bit different, try and disrupt the marketplace. That's really what BGS is focused on. It has about 17,000 employees right now, and just like BCA and BDS, are the, this organization is also growing. So this is a really fun place to be, not just for those quick moving pieces that I shared a little bit, but also because you get to experience both DCA and BDS markers. So really dynamic and fun. Talk back Thank to you. you. Thank you, Tracy. So now we're going to get into uh, our next video, and I'm going to try and make this happen if I possibly can uh, without any kind of uh, issues. Uh, I was trained on this. All right, so you should see on your screen a video uh, link, and I'm going to click on play, and hopefully it'll go through. Now pressurized. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T 
minus 15 seconds. Guidance is eternal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Everything that every uh, come on, Clark, you can do this. All right, you guys, I'm sorry, I'm I'm, I'm learning. Okay, so bear with me. Um, but I wanted to share that everything that you just saw, every product that you saw in that video just now, is stuff that you you just heard Rudy and Veronica and Tracy talk about. Those are all the things that we work on, the stuff that we do day in and day out at the Boeing Company. I'm going to switch now, uh, hopefully, and get my slideshow back up. There we go. And we're going to talk a little bit about Boeing products right now. So uh, first one up, I believe, which one is it? Oh, Rudy, you're up. Yeah, thanks, Clark. Appreciate it. So again, some product trivia. Uh, which Boeing product is the world's largest, most efficient twin engine jet? And uh, obviously, by looking at the pictures, you can see here that it is our 777-9. Uh, it's referred to as the 777X. Uh, because it's going through uh, flight testing and certification right now, but the formal model designation is the 777-9. And for those of you who are well-versed in commercial air travel and uh, commercial jets, uh, this one is uh, 10 people seated across. It's about four inches wider than our current 777 model. Uh, it's about 22 feet longer than our uh, current 777 model. And the really cool thing that a lot of people don't realize that the wingspan itself is uh, the, the tips are foldable, foldable. So they come up to ensure that uh, we can fit into uh, airport compatibility, which is really, really neat. It's got a new wider cabin for comfort, uh, advanced lighting, larger windows, and lower cabin altitude pressure, similar to the 787. So we're excited about this uh, airplane that's going through trials, through testing, verification, validation, and ultimately certification with the regulators, both the FAA and the European agency called EASA. And uh, it's going to be able to carry uh, nearly 426 passengers in a mixed class configuration seating. And as we sunset uh, the 747 program, this will be by far the biggest model that Boeing has and offers to our customers. We've got right now uh, at least 10 very excited customers that are anxiously waiting to put this airplane into play and we'll hopefully be ready to uh, certify, deliver, and introduce into service this airplane into the very early part of 2023. We've got four test airplanes right now that are going through its trials. Uh, they've accumulated over 600 flights so far and reaching nearly 2,000 flight hours amongst those four airplanes. So we're very proud and we're very excited to get ready to introduce this airplane. And there is a very significant air show going on right now in Dubai. And this airplane is now in Dubai doing flight demonstrations. And so far the early word back is it's wowed the audience. So we're excited about this. And hopefully some of you uh, that will join Boeing will get a chance to work on this airplane going forward. Thank you, Rudy. All right, next question. I think yeah, and a Tracy shout out. I've got to give a shout out to Caesar in the chat who even knew that this air that airplane uh, was shared at Dubai before you even said it, Rudy. So that's awesome. <laughs> I'm so excited that many people are hopefully following that Dubai air show because it's amazing. So when this question came up, I immediately snatched it. Clark knows. Which Boeing product accelerates aerial refueling capabilities? And you see four amazing products on here, but the one that I would love to talk to you about today is Boeing's MQ-25. And um, I obviously am in love with this product for a couple of different reasons. This product emerged in, from the PhantomWorks function. And you probably heard us talk a, a little bit about PhantomWorks, but Oftentimes when I've said that in these student forums before, people have said, what the heck is Phantom Works? What does that mean? And it's, uh, it's very similar, so it's exactly what it sounds like. It's where all of the cool, new 
technology and capabilities are developed for Boeing Defense. It is one of the most amazing organizations that we have. And from this organization, we were able to produce the MQ-25, which has made its way into autonomous systems. And this product is an autonomous aerial refueler. So that, I mean, exactly what it sounds like. Nobody is flying this. It's operated autonomously. I can't get over how cool it is. If you've never seen a video of uh, an autonomous refueler, go Google MQ-25 right after this. Watch it. It was just actually featured in a, several major news publications and has won several major awards for innovation from Ag Week uh, in the past just couple of months. So it is a very hot product. It does the most amazing things and we're so proud to have it as part of our portfolio. Thanks, Tracy. Pretty excitable about Phantom Works and Autonomous Systems. So thanks for letting me have it, Clark. They, they, no, thank you. And I, I, I got to tell you, for the students that have heard me talk before, whenever they ask me, so Mr. Rucker, what's Phantom Works? I know you work in Phantom Works. What's Phantom Works? I say, well, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. So I can't tell you. <laughs> That's not true. Come work for us. <laughs> okay, I think Veronica, I think, oh, oh, wait, this one is mine, I think, I guess. Uh, yeah, so, so let's see. Um, which which of these Boeing products ensures vital communication links are available at all times? Come on, anybody on this call should be able to figure this one out. Vital communication links, that's the key. Of course, it's gotta be our wideband global SATCOM. Um, and, that, and that program, uh, like most of our uh, satellite programs uh, is, is being done out of El Segundo, California. Any of you folks, any of you students that uh, have said, hey, you know, Mr. Rucker, I like to work for Boeing, but uh, I don't really want to leave Cal Southern California. Hey, uh, El Segundo facility working on satellite programs is a definite opportunity for you. We've got a lot of uh, a lot of business out there. They're building up the business on the space and launch side of the house, uh, on the Phantom Work side of the house. The teams that I have that are supporting their programs more on the classified side. We can't really tell you or talk too much about the satellite configurations that we use uh, that we develop on the Phantom Work side, but on the space and launch side. EPS satellites, WGS satellites, you name it. If you if you want an opportunity to get a get a good job out there working on satellite communication systems, uh, certainly uh, take a look at El Segundo. Uh, WGS was developed there. And then last but not least, yeah. Veronica. So, which Boeing product offers best in class payload range and speed? And that's the F fifteen EX, and it's an awesome product. Uh, the F-15EX is a twin-engine fighter jet that is the backbone for the U.S. Air Force, uh, their air superiority and homeland defense missions. Uh, it is undefeated in air-to-air -air combat uh, with more than 100 aerial uh, combat victories. Its two engines provide a total 58,000 pounds of thrust. Uh, it can fly faster than Mach 2.5. Um, and it is used by six countries. It also has the capability to carry hypersonic weapons. It's just awesome to be a part of that and be able to, to buy for programs like that in BDS. And although these products are manufactured, actually this one's manufactured in St. Louis, um, there are teams in Southern California that buy for the various uh, products that fall under the BDS umbrella. So you don't necessarily have to be working out of uh, St. Louis to support this product. Uh, it could be throughout um, the U.S. Over to Thank you. you, Veronica. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I'm, I'm going to ask, uh, how many of you got all four of those questions right? Okay, raise the hands. Okay, all right, all right. That's good stuff, good stuff. We're going to switch over now. One of the things that we saw um, in the other videos that the other companies did uh, where they talk a lot about inclusion and diversity. And so what we're going to do now is focus a little bit more on people. And we want to, we want to share with you how Boeing focuses on our people and how, as a company, we, we try to make sure that we, we not, only, not only are doing the right things product-wise, but we're doing the right things people-wise. So let, let me show you a video real quick, and then we'll uh, we'll let Tracy get into the discussion on the topic.
It makes me proud knowing that I add value to the team. If I'm putting pride into it, the people around me are going to put pride into their work as well. And you're going to build a great product. It's exciting to see my dreams come to you for this jet to take off. Quality is incredibly important to us. There's nothing more uh, important than the safety of the people, the product. And nothing better than watching the air crew wave from the flight deck, taking flight to their new home, just knowing that I had something to do with that. We are a team no matter what. It's a family type of thing. We have to look out for each other because without each other, we can't get this done. It's a good feeling to just know that this plane is going that far and that it's representing everybody out here at the Boeing Company. In every single function, quality, engineering, manufacturing, operations, we all come together to make sure we deliver a safe and reliable product. You know, every time I watch one of these videos, I just say to myself, wow, uh, we are, we're doing big things as a, as a company, and, and it's just a pleasure and an honor to have the opportunity to be part of the team that's doing it. Um, let's see, we're going to move now into our equity, diversity, and inclusion section, and I do believe, Tracy, uh, you are going to hit a top of start us off. Absolutely, and this is another topic that Clark knows that I am extremely passionate about because this is a huge effort by the Boeing Company. It has been a transformative couple of years for our entire U.S. society, and Boeing, I am so proud to say, has very much leaned into that. And when we talk about equity and diversity and inclusion, it's not just a conversation, it's a commitment to actually following through with action. And we make sure that in, in some of the instances you see called out here, we've got multiple professional organizations and external technical affiliations that are really focused on different uh, underrepresented groups. We have in our own company, things that we call business resource groups. We call them BRGs for short, because we just can't help ourselves. We're Boeing, we love acronyms. Uh, but we have some, but something for every kind of tech, or every kind of affiliation to really make sure that people find those that have the same interests and background as them to know that there is a place for you in the Boeing company. We do the same thing with all of our educational institutions and make sure that we're partnering uh, with multiple organizations that are predominantly from underrepresented groups. And in our actual company itself, we have a, a, a racial equity task force uh, that has multiple members of our EXCO and then people from Boeing Defense, Boeing Global Services, and Boeing Commercial that make up a diverse representation so that all voices are heard. And Boeing has really leaned into having those difficult conversations and pushing the boundaries of what has been acceptable in previous workplaces so that we can get voices that have typically been quiet amplified so that we can all see ourselves at the Boeing company and find a place for ourselves. I think that's incredibly important as we talk with students because we want the best for this company and that means bringing different opinions to the table because where we can always get ourselves in trouble is when we have a group of people that think and act the exact same way, and that's where you don't see issues. So uh, I can't say enough about this. I could go on and on about this, but I know we have a few other things uh, to get to when we talk about equity, diversity, and inclusion. Really encourage you to go to the Boeing website and read our equity, diversity, and inclusion report that we released this past year and see where we're doing really well as a company, as well as where we've identified gaps of the things that we'd like to do better. Mark, I'll turn that over to you. Thank, thank you, Tracy. I'm sitting there talking to me. Thank you, Tracy. Appreciate it. Um, good message. Excellent message. And, and, and all the things that Tracy just pointed out, there are, there's information on the web, on the Boeing website, that you can gather that information, more information about what we're doing with respect to uh, global diversity and inclusion. Rudy, over to you, sir. Hey, thanks, Clark. Um, and there's a lot of information on this chart, so I'm going to just try to cover it at a broad level. But really, the essence of sustainability is about meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability uh, for future generations to meet their own needs going forward. So the scope of sustainability really requires uh, broader consideration across environment, uh, social and economic landscapes, identifying ways to 
further enable efficiencies, innovation, and uh, human connection. So simply put, it's about doing what's right for our customers, our people, and our planet, uh, while continuing to chart a course that safeguards our environment, uh, does not compromise quality of life, and ensures growth and pro prosperity for all stakeholders. So those are the kinds of things that Boeing thinks about uh, and very much actively engaged with. And we have developed some new goals on uh, some of the most critical topics facing our company and quite frankly, facing our world. Uh, and just really broadly speaking, the first swim lane is around people, first and foremost. Our team is focused on protecting everyone who has any interaction with our products going forward. Uh, from a product and services standpoint, uh, over the centuries, we've had the privilege of bringing air travel to the world and help pioneer space exploration. And you saw in previous graphics that uh, 50,000 engineers are hard at work reinventing the future of aerospace to ensure we significantly reduce our environmental impact during every stage of the life cycle of the products we deliver. Some things like flying safely on 100% sustainable aviation fuels by 2030 and then accelerating the replacement of older, less fuel efficient airplanes. When it talks about operations, uh, last year we achieved net zero carbon emissions in our factories and our work sites. And we'll always continue to seek more ways to make our work more energy efficient. And finally, when it comes to communities, through our investments in education programs, veterans care, cultural organizations and support efforts, we are supporting the next generation of STEM leaders, contributing to local charities and building partnerships that expand equity. So that uh, is very, very broad, lots of details behind this, but we're very proud of what we've accomplished at this point and more excited about where we're headed in the future. Thanks, Clark, Rudy, and I think, uh, thank you, Rudy, and I think Veronica's gonna tell us a little bit more about what we do for our communities. Yes, so Boeing is really big into helping our communities and giving back to the communities through pur uh, purposeful investment, employee engagement, and advocacy efforts. Boeing supports partnerships uh, and programs that not only align with our business, but create value and help build better communities. Uh, Boeing focuses on opportunities that inspire our future, empower our heroes, and really strengthen our homes. Uh, so captured here on this slide are only a few examples of how Boeing gives back to the community. And in 2020, Boeing and its employees invested more than $234 million and volunteered more than 250,000 hours. Uh, Boeing has helped inspire an estimated 3.7 million young women in STEM. Uh, since 2017, Boeing has provided 41 million in support of veteran programs. Also in 2020, Boeing invested more than 15 million in nonprofits working to address racial equity and social justice. And also last year, Boeing gave 8.2 million across 155 grants to support higher education programs. Again, these are only a few examples. I did wanna add an additional example that during the coronavirus pandemic, Boeing stepped up and leveraged its 3D printing capabilities to ma uh, manufacture face shields in support of the frontline medical workers fighting the coronavirus. Um, the, so the 3D uh, printed face shields were provided to the Federal Emergency Agency or Federal Emergency Management Agency. Uh, and these face shields were printed throughout the various uh, US sites in some here in Huntington Beach and El Segundo, China Lake, and in other states such as Arizona, Texas, Philly, and others too many to mention. But yes, as you can see, Boeing is really into uh, giving back to the communities. Clark? Thank you, Veronica. Appreciate that, thank you. So yeah, you know, it just makes you proud to be part of the company, doesn't it? <laughs> Amazing. Okay, hey Tracy, uh, we're getting close on time, so what can you do to help us out? I, I'm actually frantically trying to copy and paste in some links into the chat box too so that I can cover this. And I see this last one on veterans. We actually have an entire website dedicated to our veterans. So I'll put that in the chat box shortly after I get through this one. Um, but I just wanted to share, you know, it's so important for us when you do join our company that you continue to accelerate your skills, 
that you feel like you have a career path in the company, and that you're able to continue developing in whatever area that you're looking at. If you look at the, uh, the links that I posted in the chat box, for our entry level uh, hires, we have different rotational programs that you can go through so that you learn different parts of the business, which are incredibly helpful. But also if you just are looking to pursue one area and you're very passionate about it, you have the ability to be able to upskill in that area and provide a career path. So we have so many different um, areas that we try and provide help with, such as the Learning Together program, if you want to continue furthering your education or certificates. We have the Boeing Digital Campus, which is a free resource that we provide to our employees in um, multiple different paths that you'd like to pursue. Uh, we also make sure that we have both formal and informal programs. You can grow your mentorship as well as your networks. That goes back to those business resource groups and other things I talked about with the Boeing diversity and inclusion. And we also make sure that um, within our own organization, we're really uh, looking at folks and developing them through learning experiences because we know that 80% of learning takes place in our roles. So really want to shout out that. Clark, sorry, that I probably got carried away. No, you I'll did good. I'll go back to the next one. And then this is the thing that I could not say enough. It's in multiple links that I dropped. Please check out our benefits because I think that our pay and benefits, specifically what we offer in total rewards, sets us apart from our competitors. They are best in class. And when we talk about some of the things that we've added, like this year, we expanded our Learning Together program, removed some of the caps that we had in place, really want to make sure that everyone can take advantage of that. Uh, we are market leading and offering um, different types of fertility treatments to folks. So that goes above and beyond your basic healthcare coverage, really takes hopefully some burden off people's shoulders that growing their family is, is something that they're looking to do. And I think that we just try and touch on every single point of your career, such as those people who have elderly parents that need help with their care. We have benefits for every single one of those situations. So please take the time to look for them, and then you'll be able to get a good idea of what the company offers. You want to touch a little bit on the internships also? Absolutely. Sure. So our internships for this um, this next summer have just closed, but they're going to open again for fall internships in February, March timeframe. So if you actually click on that link that I, that I uh, have sent out, that is the internship link, you'll see for every different country where there's a window and you'll be able to explore the different types of internships that we have as well. So please, please check that out. Thank you, Tracy. And you know, what, what, what would this uh, message be or this uh, presentation be if we didn't show you some of our interns? So let That's me click right. on this and yeah, let me click on this and let's get started. I'm really looking forward to building connections and networking with fellow interns and with Boeing employees. This summer, I look forward to expanding my network within the Boeing company. Contributing to some of the most amazing projects I've ever had the opportunity to work on. I am excited to get new mentors and build new relationships within my team. What inspires me most about Boeing is the fact that we can connect people all across the globe. And we can allow others to chase their dream. My personal dream is to travel and the fact that I can get on a Boeing jet and go to Dubai or Egypt or China is amazing within itself. After this Boeing internship, I'll be able to take back many pieces of learning, but the main one is just not to shy away from a project just because you don't have much experience in it. And as more of a fun thing, I actually got to go inside the Starliner vehicle, which was really, really cool. As you can see, oh, hold on a second. What well, inspires me most about I'm really looking forward to <laughs> building connections and networking with fellow uh, interns and uh, with Boeing employees. Uh, this summer, 
I look forward to expanding my network in the bowling All right, there we go. Whew. <laughs> Stop the videos. Okay, so uh, I just I, I put I put a chart together just to say thank you. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for taking the virtual tour with us. Uh, we very much hope to see you uh, one day as a Boeing employee joining us out there in the various different product areas, uh, be it on the BDS side or on the BCA side or on the BGS side. Um, as, as Tracy stated, our company is hiring at, in all disciplines, in all fields at present. And we really want you, we really would like to have you as one of our team members. Come join our team uh, and try and begin your, your career journey with us. You can see some, some uh, slides, or uh, some, sorry, some sites, URLs here that you can check out to become a Boeing employee. But again, we very much appreciate the opportunity that we got today to kind of share with you a little bit about our company, a little bit about the people at the company. In fact, that's the most important part of it is the people that work at Boeing and the products that they perform and they, and they provide to our, to our uh, warfighters, to our customers every day. Uh, one of the things that I had the, the opportunity to do many, many years ago was, uh, was I got a chance to be part of a team that went across the company and interviewed some of our employees about what they do and how they do what they do in their job, just basically get some feedback. And one of the things that came through uh, true every time I spoke to an employee, I mean, every literally every employee I spoke to made this statement. I'm proud of the work that I do. I'm helping the, the warfighter. I'm helping my customers every day, and I'm, and I'm proud to help them and be able to say that I help them and provide safe and, and, and wonderful products for them that help them protect their families, that help them pr protect our country. So, so I want you to know that that's the kind of spirit that we've got at our company, and, and, and it's the truth in, in, in all that we believe of, of all the employees that work for the company. Okay. So with that said, uh, closing remarks from any of the other panel members. I think we're ready to get to questions. I cannot keep up with them in the chat box. I know I've missed a ton. I've been frantically trying to, to answer where I can. Okay. Hey, Clark, uh, this is really, I just wanted to foot stomp something you said earlier uh, because the question does come up with folks going to Cal Poly Pomona and their roots are based here in Southern California. El Segundo is an awesome site that produces world-class satellites, but we cannot forget that we have a site in Huntington Beach that Clark sits at or used to sit at that does a lot of the Phantom Works related stuff. I sit in Seal Beach, California, and that's the hub of our Boeing Commercial Customer Support Organization. And we also have a site over in Long Beach. And so these sites offer such a variety of products, of career opportunities, and experiences that if you want to stay in Southern California, like me, I did, I grew up here, uh, there's just so much to do. Um, so I just wanted to throw that in there as well. Good points, Rudy. Sorry, I, 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 you're absolutely right. Should have mentioned every site that we have out here. You're absolutely right. Thank you. Veronica, anything you want to add before we get into the questions? I just I agree with what Rudy just said. I was born and raised in Southern California, and I've spent my 20 years with Boeing here in Southern California at the various sites. Uh, so you can support, at least for BDS, every product under the BDS umbrella from Southern California. Uh, and I also sit at the Huntington Beach site, currently working in the autonomous systems team. Yeah. Great, great. Now, I know, I know Tracy would say, yeah, but don't forget about us out here in St. Louis. <laughs> There's already a question in the chat box about Illinois. Yes, we have sites in Illinois. MQ-25 is actually being produced in Illinois as we speak, and we also have an office in Chicago that was one of our corporate offices. So we, if there's a state, we probably have a site. We're a global company. Okay, Chelf, we're going to hand it over to you for uh, Q&A. Still there? Chelsea or Mac? Chelsea, do you need me to step in? I guess so. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I, I, I did notice that there's a lot of questions. Um, I'll just grab them randomly. Um, so for the fall internship, will it be in person or virtual or maybe hybrid? For Could any, be any of the above, right? Yes, it can be any of the above. So the Whatever it may be, it will be listed on the actual website itself, 
and it will let you know what it is, and the hiring manager will always work with different students to, uh, depending on the comfort level and the statement of work. Thank you. Um, this is a good question. Um, what positions do chemical engineers shine the most? Chemical engineers at our company. Anybody want to take that one before I jump into it? You go ahead, Clark. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think on it. <laughs> okay. Well, first off, uh, when, I, when I do get chemical engineering resumes, what I always offer to them is that, you know, you have a skill, you have a knowledge area that not many others have. Uh, you, you, you've got a wherewithal on composites, you have a wherewithal on how materials uh, come together, you've got insight on compounds and things like that that not a lot of people have. And so you can utilize those skills in many of our engineering areas with respect to some of the products that we de uh, design and build for our fixed wing aircraft, our rotor wing, our vertical lift aircraft, et cetera. Um, chemical engineers, uh, we've, we have hired a number of them in our labs. Uh, typically speaking, I, I, in fact, I know a, a group of them that uh, tours our Huntington Beach lab every year. Uh, students from Cal Poly, they go through and they go through the chemical engineering area and they talk to our lab uh, uh, aficionados and about all the things that they do within our labs to test out our products, to test out new compounds, to test out new capabilities that, you know, we might be able to use on some of our aircraft. So, so the answer is uh, uh, lab work is, is definitely a piece of it, but as a chemical engineer, like I said, you have, you have knowledge and skill that you can utilize in many different areas as an engineer for our company. It's just a matter of uh, figuring out, you know, num number one, uh, what product do you, would you like to support? Where is your passion? Where do you want to live? Where do you want to work? And, and what kind of field do you want to get into with respect to, you know, be it commercial crew, uh, support the space side, support the satellite side, support the fixed wing side, or the vertical lift side? Um, but there's a lot of different ways that you can get involved. Anybody else want to uh, address that one? Good answer. Clark. I think that you're spot on, Clark. I think I would just say maybe this is not just for chemical engineering, but any of our specialty engineering functions, we just have a real shortage right now, of not just in Boeing, but in every single industry. So when you think about what place you'll really shine, maybe that's why I was scratching my head a little bit. Anywhere? I mean, really, it just whatever your passion is. Uh, you have a space for yourself. So um, for those people who are in engineering or any kind of specialty engineering, you know, the sky is limitless as far as uh, what you can go for. Great. Thank you very much. Um, I think this is a very timely question. Um, as you know, there are a lot of people looking for work right now um, and kind of trying to fit themselves in, into a company culture. What is the company culture like at Boeing? What kind of things do you guys like to do for fun at the social events and such? That's a broad one, right? That's a, that's a broad one. Who wants to take it? <laughs> hey, I'm Clark, I'll Rudy, start Veronica, off. Okay. Um, just to let folks know, and although I'm not wearing it, but today our team here in Seal Beach uh, has a team jersey day. So they get to come in and wear their favorite uh, football team, baseball team, soccer team wear, uh, and show off their pride in, in that respect. So those are the kinds of things that we encourage. Uh, the other day, uh, we were handing out ice cream uh, just to all employees that are here on our campus. We do pop-up popcorn events. We have a popcorn machine. Uh, and a lot of us, uh, depending on site, depending on program, the teams we connect with, uh, there are after hour social events that we all connect with. We go uh, connect at a local watering hole. Uh, we have, during the summertime, family picnics, softball games. We join leagues that take place for volleyball, softball, you name it. So uh, it all depends on how people want to engage. Uh, but the teams are very open to uh, inviting those in, being the collective group, the collective whole, and having fun outside of the day in, day out stuff we do at work. Right, I'd just like to add that employee morale is, is a priority, right? Uh, management takes a look at employee morale and encourages team building events, after hours events, going bowling. Um, so there are events that take place monthly and there's employee engagement teams that also um, are actively building up employee morale and, and keeping it positive and finding new fun, innovative, innovative ways to, to team build as well. I'll just add on that uh, during COVID, obviously, for the past couple of years, um, 
things, you know, as far as in-person events, those kind of activities slowed down quite a bit, obviously. Um, but but that didn't stop that didn't stop the teams from from doing stuff virtually, doing stuff, you know, having communications and having dialogue. And we, we in fact, just kicked off this whole seek, speak, and uh, listen uh, series of activities that that the groups are are doing now and, and having more conversation and dialogue again to try to engage uh, each other in an engaging way as employees and management to make sure that we're we're hearing each other we're speaking to each other and we know we understand what what each other are are, are saying so it's i gotta say it's, it's it's a great environment to work in um then you get into the business areas and you you, you each business area has its own nuance and own set of things that they do so um just, it, it's a great company. I've, I've, I've been here at the Boeing company for 32 years now, 32 years at Boeing. Before that, five years at Northrop, and before that, five years at General Dynamics. And I got to tell you, uh, I, I, it's, not, it's not a coincidence that I've been here 32 years. Mac, I don't know how much time we have. I know that one o'clock is approaching, so. Right, um, so we do have one minute left, um, so. I'll, let's just do one last question, but we'll keep in time. Um, for entry level positions, is there some form of training period at the start? Absolutely. I'm going to take that, uh, do an executive decision over here. Every um, different salary job classification, engineering, supply chain, manufacturing has their on onboarding specialty. And that is both Boeing dictated as well as specialty for that function. So. Uh, it's really important that we set you up for success, and that is a big piece of what we help contribute to in HR. Great. Thank you very Thank much. You,